Hey everyone, this is Teo. Today I want to make a quick video on external portable monitors. I want to tell you how useful they are and what you should look out for if you intend to buy one. So here I have two external monitors that are connected to my MacBook Pro, which is currently running Windows. There's actually a reason for this Mac to run Windows. So this model is from WeMaxit. It's a 15.6 inch monitor and supports a resolution of 1080p and this one that's behind the laptop this is the asus mb16 amt which is also a 15.6 inch monitor and the resolution supported is also 1080p personally for me i spend a lot of time with emails so it would be great to have an external display just dedicated to checking emails the alternative is to just use one display and check email and do your work at the same time. So for example, right now I may be drawing something and I need to check my email. So I would switch between this uh, windows and then switch back to my work and then switch back again to my email. So it can be quite distracting and it also uh, is not that productive when you are switching between your work and checking emails all the time. So the alternative is to have an external display like this. So I can put my emails on the left side and I can work on my work. And if there are any new emails that comes in, I can straight away see uh, that instantly. So it saves me a lot of time. Uh, my work requires me to check emails because um, I work in the newspaper industry, so there are always work coming in and when there's a work or assignment I have to pick it up and do it straight on the spot. If I have both windows on just one screen, I may actually work on this for half an hour and forget to see my email and uh, then it will affect my work. So the other use case for me is to display reference photos on the site. So so I have um, my reference photo here. I can look at this and do my work instead of again switching between windows. So again, it's just way more convenient to have dual monitors compared to uh, just one monitor. These two monitors are actually portable monitors, which means they are very compact, very lightweight. They are meant to be carried around. So this is thinner compared to my laptop with the case it's about the same thickness as my laptop now if you want to buy an external um, monitor like this make sure it comes with a case otherwise you have to get the case separately for this uh, asus it's also very thin but with the case it's about as thick as my laptop now these two monitors um, uh, this is running on the power provided by the laptop this has an internal battery which can last up to three hours at maximum brightness. Now, uh, depending on your use case, if you need an internal battery in the monitor, then well, there is the option to buy one. But if you buy a monitor that doesn't have any built-in battery, then it's going to run off the power from the laptop. It's going to drain the power from the laptop. So make sure you have the charger for the laptop uh, nearby and you're nearby a power supply. Let's talk about the ports. So we have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the WeMaxit monitor. This is the power supply. It uses USB-C and we have another USB-C here. Now this is just for power. This is for data and power. If your tablet or your laptop can supply power and graphics through Type C, then you just need one single cable to connect to this uh, monitor. And this is HDMI. If you use HDMI, you will need to use HDMI and power because there's not enough power through HDMI. If your laptop has Thunderbolt 3, you need to make sure that the monitor is compatible with Thunderbolt 3 as well. This particular monitor is only compatible with USB Type C, but not Thunderbolt 3. The ASUS monitor only has two ports. This is the mini HDMI to full-size HDMI that goes to the computer or laptop. And this is the USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 connector and power is a 3-in-1. So for this particular monitor, if you are using a Thunderbolt 3 laptop, you can actually connect it here and this monitor can read that signal. 
Both monitors I have have speakers, the Wemaxic one. It's pretty awful, but this ASUS, um, the stereo speakers are quite decent. In terms of colors, don't expect these external portable monitors to be color accurate. Their main purpose really is to give you extra resolution, extra desktop space so that you can put more windows on the external display so that you can see more of your work. Um, these are really not meant for checking color proofs. So for this particular display, the Wimax it, it has a glossy display so you can see it's very reflective and this particular one, the ASUS, it has a matte surface display. It's uh, not as glossy. And the brightness, um, they are very typical laptop brightness. Right now I have them at maximum brightness. So this is about as bright as uh, typical laptops can go, which is good for use indoors. If you are going to use outdoors, um, the colors, they are going to appear to be a bit washed out because of the bright uh, lighting environment. The reason why I'm running Windows on the MacBook Pro is because these two displays, they support touch functionality and Mac OS and the iPad, they don't support touch for external displays. So with Windows and Linux and Android, touch works automatically when you connect the display to it. So you can do um, the usual finger gestures, zoom in and out, pan, rotate, scroll. So this is the WeMax Set monitor, by the way. Um, the price at the time of this review, it's US $219, not inclusive of shipping. And for the ASUS, um, the MB16AMT, it's US $339. So this is significantly more expensive, but this is actually a better uh, display because the colors are better, the screen is brighter, it has better speakers, built-in battery, supports Thunderbolt 3. So there are a lot of things going uh, with this. But there are other options as well, such as the model without touch functionality. And you can also get this, sorry, get the ASUS without the built-in battery, and that will be much cheaper. Almost the same price as this WeMax it uh, display. Anyway, I'm sure you will be able to find a lot of other brands that make and sell external portable monitors like this. Um, do check out the reviews for these monitors uh, before you buy them, just to make sure you know what you are buying. I don't have any brands that I would specifically recommend. I mean, I only have these two displays. Uh, Asus, they have made a few external displays before, and this one is actually quite good. But more expensive compared to this. Anyway, if you want to save money, you can get a display, an external portable display without battery. Just use the power from your laptop. Just make sure you bring uh, the power supply for your laptop. Um, but if you do need the internal battery, well, there is the option out there in the market. All right, so let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions regarding external portable displays. I will try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope this is helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.